Okay, so this is Monday's homework, so we'll just go through the solutions um, so you can check your answers against them. And um, people who have submitted so far, um, they look good. So that's great. Um, but if you do make any mistakes, make sure you fix them and make sure you understand them. If not, let me know. Um, okay, so we'll start with pairing up. So my first pair and then my second. Right, so we look here and here and there is a, sorry, a one in here. So a number that divides into about one and two is one. And because it's a one, you don't have to write it. So if you have no number there, that's fine. A letter, AX and AY, the common letter is A. Open up a bracket and I'm going to divide this by one A. I'm going to divide this by one A. So 1 divided by 1 is 1, the A cancels the A, so I have X, this is a plus 1, so signs are the same, so the answer is a plus, 2 divided by 1 is 2, the A's cancel, and I have Y. Okay, so next I'm looking at minus 5 and minus 10, so common there is minus 5, and then BX and BY, so B is common. Open up my bracket. So because they both have minuses, you would go with the minus of being common. Remember, it's only kind of um, hit and miss. If one's a plus and one's a minus, then you have to kind of have a guess, I suppose. So minus 5b divided by minus 5b. Okay, so the two minuses here mean I'm going to have a plus. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And the B and the B cancel, leaving you with X. Minus divided by minus, again, the signs are the same, so that's a plus. 10 divided by 5 is 2. The B cancels the B, leaving you with Y. Okay, so next you have to check if this bracket exactly matches this bracket. So we have a positive 1X. Again, there's an invisible plus here. And we have a positive 1X over here. And we have a positive 2y and a positive 2y. So this matches this and this matches this. So the brackets match. So then for your answer, you write down first the matching brackets, then the highest common factors. Okay, and there's your answer to the first one. So we keep going. Uh, the second one. Right. So we pair off. Okay. So six and three. Uh, common there is three. AD and AE. So we have an A common. Open up and divide 3a, divide 3a. Okay, 6 divided by 3 is 2. The a cancels with the a, and then we have d. This is a plus 3a, so the signs are different, meaning I get a minus. 3 divided by 3 is 1. The a and the a cancel, and then we're left with the e. Okay, so here we have a plus and a minus, so we don't know really whether this is going to be a plus in the middle or a minus in the middle. So we do one, check if they match. Okay, so I'm going to go with the plus. Now we have an invisible one here, so common two and one, that's a one, um, and BD and BE, so we have B. And open up my brackets. Okay. I'm going to divide this by, it's, I've gone with plus 1b, divide this by plus 1b. So signs are the same, meaning my answer is a plus. 2 divided by 1 is 2, the b cancels the b, and I'm left with d. Minus and plus, different signs, give me a minus. 1 divided by 1 is 1, the b and the b cancel, and I'm left with e. Okay, so let's check 
that this bracket matches this bracket. Um, so this invisible plus here, invisible plus here. So a positive 2D and a positive 2D and then a negative 1E and a negative 1E. So they do match. So the plus here was the right decision. Okay, so write down the matching bracket. And then write down the highest common factors together in a bracket. Okay. And there is that factorized. And then the last one. Okay, so pair up. So this and this paired with this and this. Okay. And um, six and two, so two. And here we have an x squared, which if you remember is just two x's. And here we have an x z. So we have a common x over the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to divide by 2x and divide by 2x. So here, 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then this x will cancel off one of these leaving one behind. Okay, this is a plus 2x that I'm dividing by so there's an invisible plus in front. Signs are different giving me minus and 2 divided by 2 is 1. The x cancels the x leaving me with a z. Okay, my second half, so I have minus and a plus, so this is where you pick, so I'm going to pick minus, okay? Why not? And there's an invisible one here, so I'll stick that in. Okay, so 3 and 1, we have a 1 as a common denominator. x, y and y, z, we have a y common. Okay, so I'm going to divide by minus 1y and I'm going to divide by minus 1y. Okay, so the two minuses make a plus. Uh, 3 divided by 1 is 3. The y takes out the y and I'm left with x. Plus divided by minus is a minus. The y takes out the y. <sighs> Sorry, I tried to get that wrong again. Anyway, okay. So 1 divided by 1 is 1, and the y takes out the y, leaving you with z. Okay, so let's check if it's right. So check these two. Um, this is a plus 3x, and this is a plus 3x, so they match. And then this is a minus 1z and a minus 1z, so they match, so it's right. Um, so 3x minus 1z and 2x minus 1y are your two answers. I'm just going to show you right what happens if you pick wrong because like, I just keep trying to get it wrong in the question and you know, uh, minus 3xy plus 1yz. Okay, so there's your first one, there's your second one. So we did the first part, we said 2x, open your bracket, and when you divide by 2x, you get 3x minus 1z. Right, now here, it's a minus and a plus, which means you have to pick between the minus and the plus. So let's say we choose plus. A uh, common number is a 1, and common letter is a y, okay? So if I divide by plus 1y and divide by plus 1y. Okay, so what happens is the minus and the plus give me a minus. 3 divided by 1 is 3. The y's take each other out and I have x. Here, signs are the same, so the answer is plus. 1 divided by 1 is 1. The y's cancel and you're left with z. Okay, so now if you look at your two brackets, Here, I have a plus 3x. Here, minus 3x. Here, I have a minus 1z. And here, I have a plus 1z. Okay, so 
what has happened is that they are similar, as in you have the terms right, the 3x and the 3x and the 1z and the 1z. The problem is your signs are wrong. So essentially what that means is here, you, sh you chose the wrong sign. So if you go back and change that to a minus, so I would literally, I wouldn't scribble this out, but I would cross this out and just go again. Because what, what you did wrong is that, now if you work in pencil, you can just change it, but uh, this, when this happens, that they match, but the signs are wrong, it means you chose wrong in the center. Okay, and that will only happen when in your second bracket you have two different signs. Okay, because you don't know which one to choose. Okay, and the second, it doesn't really matter in the first bracket because whatever you, decision you make in the first bracket is fine because it's when the second bracket comes along that you're trying to match it to the first bracket. Okay, so it's only an issue in the second bracket. All right? So anyway, that's, if you get it wrong, that's why. Okay, so we've decided this is wrong, and then we go over here, and instead of taking the plus in the middle, we take the minus in the middle, and it sorts the problem out. All right, so I just wanted to show you what getting it wrong looks like. Um, it's not so much getting it wrong, as it, it, it is a trial and error, and you just have to go through it, okay?